But in times of crisis, the wise build bridges, while the foolish build barriers. We must find a way to look after one another as if we were one single tribe. Black Panther Wakanda Forever 2022 movie is already running in the theater. Just in case if you need a brief recap of the previous movie Black Panther released in 2018 then this is the right place. So let's take a moment to watch this movie recap before jumping into the second film Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Wakanda Forever! Before the release of Black Panther in 2018, Black Panther first appeared in Captain America Civil War in 2016. Your Highness. In a terrorist attack, Black Panther T'Challa, the prince, lost his father, T'Chaka, the former king of Wakanda. Black Panther already made enemy with Captain America. Assuming he helped the killer of his father escape, Inter Soldier aka Bucky who he initially suspected. Throughout the whole movie, Black Panther wanted to hunt down Winter Soldier and bring him to Wakandan justice. Until in the end he realized it was a mistake to think Winter Soldier as the killer of his father. The story continues on Black Panther where T'Challa is announced king after his father's death. Following a ritual combat that he won to become the king. On a new mission, T'Challa is now in pursuit of a black market smuggler, Claw, who is stole by premium from Wakanda 30 years ago with the help of T'Challa's uncle Enzubu. T'Challa got caught in the middle of a firefight in South Korea, where he went to apprehend Claw, but Claw manages to escape when Killmonger snatches him away from the king. A CIA operative who the king already knew has been injured after taking a bullet to save Nakia, the ex of T'Challa, who was also with him on this mission. Now the dying CIA operative needs to be rescued and treated with vibranium technology to bring him back to life. Therefore, T'Challa has no option other than bring him to Wakanda. People of Wakanda don't want outside world to know about them. They fear that if their source of all of their strength, the vibranium, the strongest substance of the universe, fall into the wrong hand, then the whole world, including Wakanda, has to pay for it by making lethal weapons from vibranium. They remained isolated from the world for centuries and disguised themselves as a third world country to the rest of the world. Not long after, Claw was shot and killed by Killmonger when he refuses to take Killmonger to Wakanda. Next, Killmonger enters Wakanda bringing the body of Claw as a gift, however Killmonger has other plans. T'Challa now is in remorse after knowing about his uncle's death, who was killed by his father for betraying Wakanda. As everything started to unwrap, Killmonger aka Nzadaka, son of Inzobu, is now one to challenge Black Panther for the throne in the ritual combat. Black Panther accepts this challenge. T'Challa and Killmonger is now ready to fight each other in the ritual battle for the throne after T'Challa being stripped off of the power of Black Panther. As the fight progresses, Killmonger defeats T'Challa and throws him off the cliff to declare him as the new king of Wakanda. T'Challa's family immediately escape to avoid imprisonment or death and seek refuge to the Zobari tribe at the mountain. Killmonger burns down the rest of the herb shaped herb after they declared him king and made him drink that herb to gain Black Panther's power. Killmonger right away ordered to dispatch weapons made of vibranium to the people in outside world of his kind to fight against oppressors. T'Challa's family is in shock when M'Baku reveals to them that T'Challa is alive and has been with his body tribe ever since they rescued him from the river. 
To heal him back to life, T'Challa is made to drink the archive herb which they stole when they were escaping Killmonger's breath. Now gaining the power of Black Panther, T'Challa has decided to take revenge on Killmonger and overthrow him to save Wakanda. As Black Panther appeared for the battle, Killmonger sends his full army to defeat T'Challa. On the other hand, with the help of the Bari tribe and his general now on his side, T'Challa manages to defeat Killmonger in a long battle between the two groups. Being defeated and beaten, dying Killmonger is taken by Black Panther where he sees the beautiful sunset his father once promised him. Just bury me in the ocean with my ancestors that jumped from the ships because they knew death was better than bondage. <sighs> Later that year, Black Panther again appeared in Infinity War. Movie starts with Hulk comes back to Earth to warn the Avengers what is about to happen. Thanos, who is on a mission to wipe half of the population of the universe, now only need the Mind Stone to complete his mission. Learning that Mind Stone is on Earth, Thanos takes his whole army to Earth to get the Mind Stone in the final battle that takes place in Wakanda. Black Panther took Vision in Wakanda to separate Mindstone from him so that he remains safe from Thanos. But Shuri failed to separate this stone even with Wakandan's advanced technology. Thanos later finds Vision in Wakanda and destroys him in the process of taking the Mindstone. Thanos snapped his finger after getting all these stones and disappears from the scene after being injured by Thor. And this snap has resulted in wiping out half of the population in the universe. Black Panther also disappears after the bleep along with half the population. Hop, children. Hop. This is no place to die. Endgame introduces Captain Marvel with the Avengers to track Thanos on a planet known as Garden where he has been residing following Infinity War. Avengers made a surprise attack and this time Thor goes for the head which finally kills Thanos. That's the time they came to know that Thanos destroyed these stones to remove the temptation of the power that stones bring. Five years later, Avengers finally come up with an unusual plan that Ant-Man proposes to collect all these stones from different timelines. They become successful on their time highs to collect all these stones to resurrect the bleep. They bring every victim back, including Black Panther. Everybody comes home. But there has been one problem during their time heist. They also bring alternate Thanos with them who knows all that had happened and the consequences. Now Avengers along with the Black Panther and all the allies, they have to defeat alternate Thanos to stop him from completing his new plan which is to wipe out everyone that exists.
Iron Man sacrifices his life to snap his finger with all these stones that he kept away from Thanos so far and finally defeat him once and for all in final battle. Black Panther and everyone else come to Iron Man's funeral to pay tribute to him for one last time. As we all know, Black Panther was portrayed by Chadwick Boseman who passed away in real life after a long battle with known cancer which he kept mostly private. This video is solely to relieve his memory for all the amazing Marvel movies he gave us to enjoy. He is gone but not forgotten. Rest in peace. So that's the whole journey of Black Panther in Marvel Universe until Wakanda forever. If you like this video, share your thoughts how you feel on the comment section down below. Don't forget to like this video and if you want more of movie recaps, please let us know. Support us by hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get more updates from our channel. Peace.